Hal Hirschfield at NYU conducted a fascinating study. Half of the study participants saw pictures of themselves at their current age immersed in virtual reality. The other half of the study group saw pictures of their future self at age 70 immersed in a field of virtual reality. Both groups were presented with realistic retirement planning software and asked to allocate a portion of a hypothetical budget toward retirement. The group that saw their future selves at age 70 contributed 6.2 percent of pay toward retirement. The group that saw their current age selves at 35 contributed just 4.4 percent toward retirement. An amazing difference when we can bridge where we are today with where we're going to be when we're older and in the retirement years. Virtual reality is a powerful tool, but plan sponsors are looking for something with lower cost. All we need to do is to pair employee savings rates with a view of future lifestyle in a personally relevant manner. The slide you see is simply a Simpson concept piece. It's not part of an existing communication campaign. But you can see through these testimonials that individuals are looking at their current selves they're looking at their future selves. They're looking at differences in contribution amounts to their 401k plan, 9% of pay, 6% of pay, 2% of pay. And we're showing individuals what these differing contribution rates may mean in terms of dining and in terms of vacation planning, something that 35-year-olds clearly can relate to. So this concept piece, it illustrates thinking about your current self and future self simultaneously. And we focus in this example on purchasing power and consumption, not money, not return on investment. The behavioral economic principles at play here include something known as asymmetric dominance. Look at the three contribution rates, 9%, 6%, and 2%. They're not equal distant from one another. And they're not equal distant from a reason. And that's because we want to anchor people's attention toward higher contribution rates so that they'll be retirement ready.